I've been doing this for years, dude. I got this down. But this, I'm just not as good at it. All right, dude. Now for my favorite part. Shaking water around. Oh, baby. Dude, just a huge glob of freaking black sand. Just a ton of it. I don't know if my swirling technique is good enough. I suck at the swirl. You gotta get a good swirl. I think I saw one little tiny, tiny, itty bitty speck. No, I don't think that was it. I think it's just pyrite. Probably pyrite, but they kind of stayed at the bottom so it wasn't floating around right there. So I'll take it home. I was brought a small gold pan because it fits in the backpack, one thing. And I kind of like just doing it one handed sometimes. And the big old man's too big to do that. So you have to be like, Ugh. and you're using these edges to catch any of the heavy stuff so it doesn't fly out. When you put it in the water, you put it down, and when you scoop it out, you kind of scoop it back up. So if there's anything, it'll get caught on the edges and just that light shit gets pulled out. And you just shake it down, make sure all that heavy shit goes to the bottom, do it again. And I always do like a couple little vibrations right here, make sure it's all stuck in that corner, and just take off that top layer again. Big old pieces of pyrite, pyrite shatters, gold bends. So you can grab something and just kind of poke the pyrite and see if it'll bend or shatter. If it is pyrite, it'll shatter in a million pieces. So gold, you might be able to break it and it'll break off, but most of the time it's just going to leave a crease and bend because it's super malleable. It's a lot softer than pyrite. 